Hello guys, today I'm going to show you the initial setup process of the Google Pixel 9 Pro smartphone by adding a Google account and restoring the backup from another smartphone. In my specific case, the Google Pixel 8. I'm setting it up in English so that the video works well for both my Italian and English audience. Let's get started. It also gives us the option to copy everything over from another device. I highly recommend not using this option, but instead using the option to restore the backup and all the saved items from the Google account, so not physically from another phone. In this particular case, if we choose the option to restore from another phone, we will be prompted to connect the two smartphones via USB to complete this step. Personally, I do not recommend this. I always suggest restoring your backup through the Google account. So let's skip this option and look for available Wi-Fi networks. Of course, without Wi-Fi, we cannot set it up properly. In this case, I'm in the office and I don't remember the passwords. Let's see what we can do. If I entered the correct password, the setup is starting, the pixel is beginning to connect to Google servers. This process is crucial for ensuring that the device can access all necessary services and updates from Google. Let's wait a moment. The entire procedure should be quite straightforward. I won't fast forward the video just to show you the actual setup and the real timing. Here we are. Now we need to enter the Google account from which we want to restore the backup that we would like to use on our new Google Pixel 9 Pro. This step is important because it allows us to retrieve all our previous data, settings and applications, making the transition to the new device seamless and efficient. Now I will be asked for the second verification because I have two-step verification on the account. In this case, I will provide it from my old phone, which is still functioning. In case your phone is broken and you cannot provide confirmation from that smartphone, you should have printed codes. For two-step verification or other access, methods activated for situations where you do not have your smartphone, such as when it is lost or stolen. Let's continue. I give the authorization from the other smartphone and proceed. It asks us if we should use the smartphone ourselves or if we need to set up a smartphone for a child. I need to set it up for myself, of course. That's definitely not even up for discussion. Let's move on. Here, there is all the information related to updating your account with your phone number. What does it mean? It means that your phone number on the Pixel will be linked to the account and used for various Google services. I recommend that you always read all these warnings provided by Google carefully, which I remind you can be easily managed from various sections of your Google account. So let's just say we are simply aware and uh, we proceed. Welcome to the Google Terms of Service and also everything else as well. Now, of course, it asks us to connect to the mobile network, which I will do later because I haven't inserted the SIM yet. Let's skip this. It warns us that without a SIM, we won't be able to use certain services. Let's move on. Here it asks for the classic screen lock pin. I usually use fingerprint. Recognition and a pattern for security. So for now, I'll skip this as well. It also gives us a warning here, but we will skip it. It tells us that we can copy apps, photos, and other things from another smartphone. In this case, we tell it to proceed from where we want to restore the backup. 
we need to restore the latest backup, the most recent one I have on my main phone, which is the Pixel 8. We select it and we will need to confirm from the other phone as well. So let's proceed. This is the old screen unlock from the Pixel 8. Now a notification should arrive. Ah no, perfect, we have already confirmed from the Pixel 9 by entering the unlock pattern used on the Pixel 8, with which we backed up our account. Here we are told what will be restored, and we can optionally enable or disable certain categories. I always recommend restoring everything. Let's start with the restoration. It will begin shortly, very soon. Here we need to accept and agree to the other terms of service. We must authorize and permit the use of location services, the scanning of Wi-Fi networks, even when Wi-Fi is turned off. In short, we need everything activated because these are all features and functionalities that help us get the most out of Google services and the Pixel 9 smartphone. We accept this now. It is asking us if we want to use the backup of photos and videos now on the Pixel 9 device. For the moment, I will select no, and I will keep the backup of other important data active. I remember that when I talk about the backup of photos and videos, I am referring to the Google Photos Backup Service. So you either need a paid subscription plan, or it will count against the 15 gigabytes of free storage space you have. Let's move on. Now we need to choose the search engine. Needless to say, we will choose Google Chrome, the web browser, sorry, not the search engine. Moving on, here is the search engine, which will be Google. Of course, we set it as default. Here are the warranty terms and conditions, so you can read the warranty terms in all languages. Now we start getting information about all the various services and features available on the Pixel 9 device. In this case, it talks about Gemini, Circle to Search. In short, it shows us various features that we can have on the Pixel 9 thanks to Google's AI. And let's remember that the Pixel 9 is practically a showcase of all of Google's AI that performs at its best on this device. Let's move on. Here it gives us information about Gemini, everything it can do. There is a lot of information that I invite you to read. Let's say we want to use it. It talks about all the advanced security options, like this one that detects incidents. So check if you want to use them, enable or disable them, and move on. Nervy Share is a feature you probably know. It allows you to transmit files, photos, and other things between two Android devices, similar to Bluetooth, but much faster. For now, let's move on. We are not interested. Here we are offered to perform some of the classic operations that are done with a new smartphone. In my case, I don't want to do anything. I skip it and we should finally be at the home screen. It's almost ready. I would like to remind you to definitely subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. In the coming months, you will have a lot of interesting and informative videos and many updates on the Google Pixel 9 Pro. I remind you that I am a Google product expert. So absolutely subscribe to the channel and give me some likes to help me grow. We should be good to go, but it also depends on the speed of the Wi-Fi connection. In my case, we are still on ADSL and do not have fiber, so all download and upload operations from Google servers are much slower. We should be ready now. Here we go. The pixel is ready to use. 